In this video, we're going to show you how to add your own custom moldings to the Microbiome Draw Room Components Draw Moldings library. So, located under our Draw and Draw Room Components and Draw Moldings here, we have a list of moldings that are available to us that we can draw following the Microbiome commands of picking points, and it automatically extrudes and draw the moldings wherever we have picked in our drawing. So, basically, what each one of these moldings are inside this list is a closed polyline positioned on 000 of its own drawing um, that the program brings in and extrudes. So uh, where those are located is in your either on disk, in your uh, microvalm data and or your factory data and your graphics moldings folder or in your database uh, by the same location. Help. Um, Browse factory data. So once we're there, we go into our graphics, moldings, and basically we see um, all these molding drawings followed by a corresponding JPEG preview. So uh, if we open one of those up, let's go ahead and open one of those up. I'll just go file open. And we'll just go ahead and open this crown molding here. And if we turn on our grid, we'll see the 000 of the drawing itself. And if you reverse engineer one of the existing ones, you'll see that it's positioned on 0, 0, 0 accordingly. And basically this molding is just a two-dimensional drawing of the molding to extrude. And the rules are it just needs to be a closed polyline, can't be a spline or anything like that. Um, you can use AutoCAD commands of PL and just go to town and start drawing whatever kind of molding you would like. And we could close that. I happen to have one on hand we'll show you and how to add it really quick. So here's a little fun one I created. I call it the bat molding. And this one is positioned on 0, zero like we're coding. it's supposed to and it's just a closed polyline. So once you've created those, you also need to create a JPEG. And the JPEG is important because the JPEG needs to be there in the same moldings folder in order for it to show up inside the um, available list in Microvelm Toolbox. So if we go back here, I'm just going to copy these and paste them into my new location. Or you can create a new file and have it already in that location. Um, but this configuration I'm using is this one. And I'm just going to make sure I put it in the right folder. And you'll see I've added these. Um, but in order for them to show up in my list over here, what I'll need to do is go ahead and shut down the program to have it refresh and show it available in the list. Right now you don't see it. It should be at the top. Let's just close down and reopen and we'll see it. So we've shut down and reopened and now we see it available in our list here with our little preview JPEG. And again, it's important to have the JPEG or it won't show up inside this list. So the JPEG is necessary. Uh, if you close down and reopen and you notice it's not on your list, it's probably because you didn't add the JPEG. So from there, all we have to do is just follow the right click commands. Um, just go ahead and pick points to draw the molding. And we just pick our points. And then the program will prompt us for a few prompts here. I'm going to go in this choice, in this example, first example, we'll do add a lineal footage to project, and we'll see what that does. And go ahead and hit OK, and we got our molding. And we see that it is the bat molding that I created with that closed polyline two-dimensional drawing. And if we go and do our parts list here, and um, product list here, we'll see by that first choice add lineal footage to the project, it basically just made a line item representing the molding. And inside there we have the parts list. And we'll see the parts name is the corresponds to the molding name that we chose. And we see we got a total length here of all those, um, what was it, five pieces altogether, one long length of the total lineal footage. Let's just show you the other choice, what you get with that. One thing to note about the molding, because of the nature of the way it works, just a little side note here. Um, when you try to use a microbiome erase command, it tells you that, that you need to go to the product list to uh, change anything about that as far as deleting goes. So you could delete it with AutoCAD, but you'll still have it in your product list. So you want to come into product list to delete the actual product if you need to redo it. So we'll just go ahead and delete it here. And then as well, it's 
um, the secondary step of that is you have to use AutoCAD to delete that in the drawing. Now it's completely out of your project and the drawing. So let's go ahead and try the second uh, approach here. We'll pick points again. And it's, it can be a little tricky just zoom in and out to find the points, but not too bad. We'll go ahead and do that. This time we'll add each segment to the project. And this last one, which we're not going to show, is just draw only. You won't get any parts in, in the product list. You'll just get the drawing only. So we'll try this one and go look at what we get. Again, it's our bat molding. Okay. And we're going to go into our product list. Take a look at those parts. So it gave you just one um, line item again, but inside there we have each of the segments broken out into parts. And you can do that with you what you want. So two different approaches to do the draw room components, draw moldings, pretty easy to create. Um, basically just a closed polyline AutoCAD drawing positioned on zero zero accordingly. And you'll have you can add as many custom moldings as you would like.